This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at color basics in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, we'll look at how to measure and adjust skin tones. Skin tone is a special case, and it's an important case. You need to understand this. If we looked at that photograph of that woman, we would say the woman is white. I mean, that's the vernacular. But she isn't white. Her sweater is white. And her top is black. She's sort of a mid-tone gray. If we look at this, there's her white sweater, there's her black top, and there is her face. It's not at 100%. It's not at 0%. It's around 50 to 60%. Caucasian skin is around 50 to 60 percent, but equally magical to the fact that it isn't white, it isn't black, it's gray, is look where her skin is. It's right on this line here, this line at 1030 called the skin tone line. What's magical about the skin tone line is that race does not change color. <laughs> it's not intuitive, but we're all the same color because that which gives our skin color is the red blood under our skin. And that up left line represents the color of red blood under skin. What's different is not our color. What's different is our grayscale. Let me illustrate. Here I've got a, a Caucasian woman. The background is white. That's this line right here. Her top is light beige. That's this area right here. Her face right in here around 60 to 70 percent and where's the color of her skin right on the skin tone line another white woman where's her skin color right here well what I did I think I did this let me see if I've got it is if I add a crop let's just turn this on and I crop so I just pick up her cheek right there and now go back to the metriscope look at that right on skin tone line how about some young kids on the skin tone line? Well, let me prove that. Let's turn a crop on. Select the clip. Turn the crop on. Look at that. Right on the skin tone line. Let's go back to the crop and move it. So we pick up the girl that's in the sunlight. Where'd she go? Right there. What's she look like on the scopes? Right on the skin tone line. Look at that. A skin tone line skin tone line. How about a Hispanic woman? Right on the skin tone line, maybe a degree down. How about some Asian women? Right on the skin tone line, two degrees down. How about a black woman? Right on the skin tone line. Look at this. If I turn crop on again, what does it look like on the scope? It's parked on the skin tone line. We're all the same color but we're not the same grayscale. Let's select this green girl clip, go to Effect Controls, and go to Effects. Inside Effects, if you do a search for Crop, you'll find an effect inside the Effects panel called Crop. I'm going to drag that Crop and drop it on top of the girl. Then I'm going to adjust the cropping so I find skin which is well lit, that doesn't have makeup on it, that allows me to see just skin and no other color. Her leg is well lit, it doesn't have makeup, most of the time they don't. Now when I go to the scope, look at that, it's supposed to be on the skin tone line, but it's actually just about a perfect yellow. Grayscale value is okay, it's 60%. The color's totally wrong. So what I'm going to do now, take the mid-tone setting and move it so that it goes over toward the skin tone line. And do the same thing here. Being a little bit unresponsive this morning. There we go. And we'll pull this back so it's not quite as saturated. And my goal is to use this crop to isolate on the skin and just make sure that the skin is on skin tone line. Now again, saturation is a little bit 
a little bit heavy. Let's pull that back a bit. There we go. And go back to our color wheels. So we get a little less color fringing. And now when I go back to the crop and turn it off, this is where we were before. And this is where we are now. Remember I mentioned that I would give you a table of skin tone values? Well, Alexis Van Herkman, in his book, The Encyclopedia of Color, put together this extremely useful table that allows us to rough in values for different ethnic types. Female Caucasian tends to be between 50 and 70% in grayscale, on to 2 degrees above the skin tone line, and about 40% saturation. Now, I am not saying that all women are always these settings. Clearly, there's variation amongst all of us. But when you're trying to fix a problem, this is a wonderful, normalized series of settings that you can use to get people within the range of believability. Yes, there's individual variation. But in general, these settings can help you make sure that your actors look normal and people feel comfortable looking at them. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at color basics in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 268. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than nineteen hundred movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.